right, guys, we got my little week workout in uh, first day. So that's not something I've been, I'm claiming to do that I do every day, but I'm trying to work on it. We got Kruger and Grizz out here chilling. It's actually kind of a nice day today. We are heading into the garage. Kruger says, I'm coming with you. So he's got his ball. Get your ball. Get it. Get your ball. Good boy. Get it. So anyways, we are going to work on the Magnum today. Uh, I appreciate everybody that dropped a comment in uh, the last video, pretty much stating that, hey, we support you. Start pushing out your content as much as you can. And today, we're going to start pulling the transmission out of this deal. I'm going to try to get it up a little bit more in the air and uh, give me some room. So let's get started. Let's get after it. And let's get this daily running so we can enjoy driving it. And then we can play with the diesel a little bit because the diesel needs some love too. So, gonna got my crazy house water bottle rolling out here. We're gonna start bumping some music. All right, guys. So, pardon me for the shitty camera quality. Uh, my phone is broke on the one side. So, anyways, it's leaking up here in the bell housing, which I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but. I have never taken an all-wheel drive transmission out of one of these and the diff or sorry the transfer case is like right here I'm gonna try to take these really rusty bolts off and just this piece of the exhaust That's probably not gonna work. I'm probably gonna take the whole exhaust off But I'm hoping we get lucky and take this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this bolt with some PB and uh, Let it sit for a second take the drive shaft uh, out and then start unclipping stuff while it's setting and then try to break this bolt loose and take this part out so bear with me while we get that and we'll see where we can get to with this uh hunk of junk huh <laughs> well guys we got it uh as you can tell i'm out of breath but here is the piece it came out fairly good and easy but uh let's see if we can crawl under here and show you but now we have all the room in the world for the transfer case uh should be able to drop this cross member and uh, unbolt it and everything come out as planned. Again, you have to be careful of that O2. Crew is out there flipping out about the sirens. <laughs> what a goof. But anyways, so now we're gonna uh, start. I kinda jumped ahead of myself. I didn't unplug everything. So I'm going to kind of finish that up, get the lines unhooked, and then start unbolting the bell housing and everything, and we'll get this thing out. Let's see what's he doing. You hear the weedos? What the heck? What the heck? Oh, my goodness. All right, well, we got to get to work. You keep playing. All right, so we are not doing too shabby, surprisingly. Uh, let's see if I can crawl under here. But, let's see if I can show you guys this. Where are we at here? So, this transmission line comes out. And from my understanding, I've actually never removed it. But there's a little clip here. Uh, and there should be one behind this little grommet deal on this side. And it looks like there is. So, you pull this off and the lines come out. I've already got the bell housing bolts out. Uh... This is loose and ready to come out. The, all the wires are undone. So theoretically, I might take the transmission dipstick tube out, possibly. I'm not sure yet. But uh, outside of the transmission dipstick tube and these lines and the cross member, the transmission should be ready to come out. So it's went fairly smooth. Let's get this thing done so we can move on to funner things to do. huh? We had Dustin show up. He brought a little Mustang. We're gonna show here probably in a minute, but we got the transmission out. And surprisingly, that thing is heavier than hell. Like, I was not expecting it to be that heavy, but it's very heavy. Uh, there was fluid in here, but it doesn't show itself as um, clearly as I wish it would. There was a little bit of fluid down here at the bottom of the pump, so maybe the pump isn't sealing correctly. Not 100% sure. So. In the process, though, Isaac's wonderful, helpful self decided to drop the transmission so fast and it tipped over and dumped fluid everywhere. So that's fun. We got a big mess to clean up. But for now, I'm going to clean this. I'm probably going to get the transmission up on the bench 
and try to diagnose more from there. And while, before he runs away, we got Dustin and his Mustang here. It's pretty clean. He said that the guy he bought it from was pretty much trying to uh, replicate the Need for Speed movie. So it's got some really cool wheels on it that I really like. I think it looks really good. It is a, just a regular 5.0 though, right? It's GT. Yeah, it's yeah, a GT. Just, it's GT. Yeah. But it does look really good. I like, I like the stance of it. And it's got a nice booty on it, huh? Sheesh! All right, guys. So it's actually the next day, unfortunately. Kind of ran into a snag, and I should have showed it right away. But I started making calls and lost track of time trying to figure out the problem or the solution to this problem and i'm gonna try to show it to you the best i can like i said my my phone is kind of broke and i am uh working with limited means here so anyways transmission the bell housing is off this is uh the front planetary is out at least i believe that's what that's called you know don't beat me up too bad but uh i noticed after i pulled the front seal out of this deal just to replace it to be safe there is what i call a bearing but i think they call it uh, a bushing that is supposed to sit down in here but i don't think it's supposed to wibble around like this i don't think it's supposed to be loose but the next thing is you can kind of see a gap down here at the bottom this popped out a little bit and down and wore a new groove as you can see there's heat uh, signs of heat stress around here so the problem is pretty much need a new pump i'm not gonna lie i believe this transmission probably needs to be rebuilt uh i tried to find a couple spares there's one in town uh not a bad price but they said it has more than average wear and is a get you by transmission so okay well i'll call my transmission guy here local and see what he says but uh supposedly this is anywhere between three and four thousand dollars to rebuild completely uh the mercedes trans because i guess they're a pain in the butt you have to replace everything uh that may or may not be true for other builders but the guy that's here local you know i trust him and he's been around a long time and uh you know he pretty much said that you if you start with one part of it like if we fix this he said he won't even touch it because he wants to fix the whole thing and that's how much it costs to play with it. And I, on a budget, am not about to pay uh, that amount of money for a transmission for a stock daily that I got for free. <laughs> and uh, the next problem to that is, is the transmission is almost the worth of the car, at least halfway. So uh, I'm not trying to, to do that. Um, at least not as of right now race car is first priority that's a lot of money to be spending before the season for a daily so the solution is we're hopping in the truck it's running we're going to take the dogs with us and um we're going to take this pump with us and we're going to go to my transmission guy and supposedly he has one of these in his uh nag one to be specific has one in his uh i guess junk pile and he said that i could have the pump out of it but i gotta come take it out so that's what we're on today is we're gonna go try to take a pump out we're gonna put it in here in hopes that that solves our problem and buys us a couple of years or even a year before we have an issue with this um because to be honest i'm probably relying on this car to get me to and from colorado at least for one of these trips this is probably gonna haul the motor and the trans down to mock it up in the truck and uh you know so this is what i'm planning to take instead of the diesel so i'm hoping it's got a brand new motor for those that don't know it's got a brand well brand new to me i mean i rebuilt it uh it's still got obviously used parts but uh new rings new bearings blah 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 so it's a fresh motor so it should be ready to go for another 200,000 miles unless i beat on it too hard which is more likely than not so right now we're gonna hop in the truck let's get rolling let's get this day cracking all right we got the dogs we got odie boy let's get to mayfield's transmission We 
here at Mayfields. We're gonna see if they're here. Normally there's cars all the way out here out front packed up, but I think he started moving them out back. So I'm gonna hop in here real quick and talk to him and then I'll catch you guys up. All right, so I didn't film too much in there because I got straight to work and uh, Shane isn't actually here. So I didn't want to waste anybody's time when they're trying to work. So I already went and ripped the pump out. This is, this is the new one right here. Even though that one looks shinier, it's not, I promise. Uh, this, I'll probably explain a little bit more at home, but this is all wallered out. So this one looks all nice and good. We're just gonna replace the, the seal and call it good. So we're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy home and let's get back to work. Okay, so we're back home. I This is the old pump, which I've already showed you guys. The bearing falls out, which I'm pretty sure I showed you earlier. It's all wallered out. This one over here is nice and clean. So we got this all cleaned up, wiped off. We got the, what I call the front planetary, which I'm pretty sure that's what this is, uh, cleaned off. I have to go get a new uh, gasket deal here. So for right now, that's going to end this video. Unfortunately, I wanted to get this together and back in the car, but that just means more content. So I will see you guys next time. Keep it crazy. And next time, hopefully we're driving this thing.